back off this for a little bit because I gotta get back on Slum Dog. It's uh, 9th of August. I got about six weeks till Fall Color Tours. I was lucky enough to get picked back on to Fall Color Tours this year, so I gotta start getting dialed in to old Slum Dog over here. I gotta put in some power steering exactly like this. So I'm gonna copy this and then uh, hook it up to Slum Dog. I hope I got all the parts. I think I do, but we'll see. You know, you never know until you start like getting into it and you're like, oh crap, I need something else. So hopefully six weeks will get me enough time to get the parts I needed. That's why I need to jump back on to Slum Dog. Bucket full of parts here. You gotta figure out how to get all this. I think I'm missing one of the hoses. You gotta make this look like that. Then I need a belt. Then I need some bolts. I'll probably take it over to someone. I'm doing these lines professionally. And I need a belt and uh, put all that right up in here. Got some figuring out to do. <laughs> but here's my belt thing. It'll hook up to that pulley and then draw the lines out to here where I capped them at. Capped one here and one back there. Yeah, I should, should get this thing to work. All right, kind of figured this out here. Had to make a million trips to the store to go buy some freaking bolts. I got one that's too small or too too short. It'll barely thread in there. Um, but problem I was getting, I was like, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't go in there and wouldn't thread. But on the head over here, you can see where a bolt was broken off, like way in there. So. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Um, but everything else seems to be doing good. <laughs> it's about quitting time right now. So tomorrow, first thing, I'm gonna take this all back apart and uh, see if I can extract that bolt that's way in there. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the hardware store, get me one of those bolt extractors, I'm bust up my welder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get that thing out, but... Um, if not, I'm hoping two bolts is good enough, <laughs> but I don't think so. Yeah, I'll be working tomorrow trying to get that bolt out. Um, where's my pulley? My pulley's here. You gotta still install that. Um, these two bolts, you can see it way down in there. Goes right into the head, connects this one up, and then a third one here would go into the head so there'd be three bolts on the head that would hook these things up and then these two connect the outside and then there's two more here one and two down there that connects the uh, power steering pump and one bolt here and then down here you can see the hose there's the hose bib and then we need to put a hose bib in that side um, we'll run both these lines the in and the out down into here and then I had this in the garage lost all the bolts um, I only got one hose line but I'm gonna get a new one anyways I want it to be really good um, have it professionally made but anyhow as far as I got tonight catch you guys in the morning we'll be struggling to get that bolt out damn I said yet.
I've been messing with this thing for a couple of hours now. Uh, that bolt in there is not going to come out. So what I ended up doing is drilling it, tapping it for the next one down. This is, these are 318 by 16, so I did 516 there. Not ideal, but it should work. Well, here we go. I'm going to put this on the back plate. Got two bolts there. I put that this five sixteenth by four and a half inches. Let's see, three x three. Cut these out. Had some pulley issues. I had to order these pulleys. Uh, it's been about what seven, ten days now, and I got these in the mail. And I gotta figure out if they'll fit because right now you can see we're a little bit off. So that's the stock one that came with this kit. So we gotta pull that off and uh, see if these new pulleys work I think well I don't know we'll see there's no information on this so I'm just throwing this out there you know just a guy in the backyard having a good time but this is frustrating but uh, we'll figure it out let's get this changed out we'll put that first one in there I like this other one this is a kind of a little bit fancier one I bought the 60 bucks on eBay um, a little bit nicer, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. When I got it on Amazon, it's the exact same pulley on that, but it has two, two of these. Um, hopefully that'll get us in the right spot. And I searched the whole internet. Nobody's got no information on it. Um, you know, these Buick V6s are, are not around too much. And uh, not a whole lot of people are investing their time in it, so... Especially on the internet. I guess it's just me. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go. Let's check this out. Let's try to get this going here. Yeah, so that's not fitting. I'll take that off. I guess I pushed it as far as it could go, but I only got like a, you know, half inch. I still need like another inch to go to get it over to that one. Um, let's try the other one. All right. So. Yeah, that's too bad. I was guessing if I had a lathe, I'd cut some of that out, but let's try this one. probably why it doesn't work because it's the same as that. Let's see if this one works. Hmm. This one's actually too much in like about a quarter of an inch. 
see that? A little bit too much in. It needs to be like right there. I'll put a washer in there maybe. The back side of it. Alright. I hope I don't have to go to the hardware store and find me a 916 couple of washers. Oh, well, that'll work. Yeah, and then look at my bolt. I lost my bolt here. So there's an issue. Keys, Louise. Pain in the buttocks. All right, let me stare at this for a while and I'll get back with you. has the keyway already so it should fit right up on the back side of there and that'll give me my spacing to go that way a little bit because I need it but um, if I cut that piece off and that'll give me the right spacing and that'll give me enough thread for the bolt to go on and uh, we'll see what happens I was looking for a specific uh, power steering unit for this engine but uh, there's no information whatsoever on the internet for that it just keeps referring me to Chevy GM Pontiac you know 66 to 80 whatever and that's pretty much the generic power steering pump that I got on there and of course I want the less expensive one this one has a keyway this is the other kind that you can press on there with the tool but I don't know this it seems to be a little easier. If this doesn't work, maybe I'll have to go to that one, but we'll just take this whole thing off and run without power steering. This would be nice to have, but I'm gonna give this a little bit more effort and we'll have to rethink, reevaluate our life choices in the GP. All right, get back with you. It sound right, boy. So I cut that piece off. And cleaned it up. Same thing here. Let's see if this works. Just file some of it down. Get my calibrated eyeball. Let's see what we got. That's money. All right. Right on. It's hard to get that camera angle right, but it's it's on the money. At least for a big urn in his backyard, that's around the money. That's perfect. Now let's put that bolt on. It's Sunday today, so sometime this week I'll run it over to the hose man and he'll make me some hoses. And then we'll put that belt on. And then we should be in business. All right, that bad boy is installed. It's right on the money. Get those hoses made up for me. Uh, the stock one did not work. I would have liked that other fancy one to work, but uh, it didn't. So, the big pulley, giant pulley right there is going to have to work. <laughs> Unless I find something else. But for now, it's going to go. I just took the front grill off. Looks like I gotta modify this mount here. Um, it won't fit, so I gotta cut it and then rebuild something that will go over it. So if these will go in, then I got uh, got some pieces here 
So I gotta rebuild that. That's to be my return line. So this definitely needs to come off and I need to build something else that goes up there. This thing's also a little bit damaged. You can see how it spins. So I don't know if that's gonna work. Bummer. Waiting on the belt. It's in the mail, so it should be here in a couple days. We won't know if any of this works until that comes and we put it on. I don't know if that little wiggle right there is gonna throw the belt. I don't know if the belt's gonna fit. It's a lot of unknowns right now. situation all figured out I had this done this morning guy whipped it out real quick in 30 minutes or less probably I just did that about ready to give it a custom paint job right now try to blend it in otherwise it's gonna look all shiny and it's not supposed to be uh, I cut off that it used to be on this side and built this little arch here so that'll fit um Get that thing back in. Wires all set. So just hooked up my power steering. Uh, got it to work. It doesn't work that great, but it works pretty good. Good enough, possibly, we'll see. Uh, got my extra pulleys that don't work. So what I ended up doing, um, so I got that double pulley in there with it spaced in the back and the lock nut on here. Um, I went and put the tape measure around this area and I got me a, a 40 inch uh, measurement. So I went to the auto parts store and got me a belt for 40 inches. So I got it on there, got my hoses installed here. Look pretty down there. I did order another one that's supposed to be specifically for Buick, supposed to be in today sometime. So when that comes, I think I'm gonna put that thing on there. And if that thing wiggles, then I'm not suspecting the pulley no more. I'm gonna suspecting um, this rod here. Cause when it was shipped in a box, I was suspect already. Cause it looked like the box was hitting there. So that shaft might be bent, creating this pulley to wig do the wiggles. But it does work. See how it wiggles. And as I as I increase the RPM, uh, it kind of goes away. Sweet, the one finger thing. That's when I got my lockers on. That thing's gonna go nicely. But uh, that's the issue we got right there. Will it work for one week in Colorado? Absolutely. Um, will it mess something else up? I think probably destroy this pump over time. So that leads me to believe. Well, once today when we put that other pulley on and run it, then I'll know if I need another. Um, 
pump, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Have to go buy another pump. We'll see. Waiting on the waiting on the delivery van to show up. Just got this in the mail. It's for a Buick. I think it's got the right offset. Gonna give it a shot. See what happens. Hopefully this one's not bent. Hopefully it's um if it's on there good. We'll see. Alright, I just got this new pulley on that I just got in the mail. And you can see that it's straight. It's not all bent as shit like those other ones. So I think this is a win. Hope I didn't speak too soon, but I'm gonna hook this thing up and we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Oh, not, not so sure this belt's gonna work now. Now it's really loose. It's, this pulley's not as big as those of the shitbirds down there. All right, just went and picked up a 39 inch V belt here that I'll go here. You can see that I'm so happy it's not doing the wiggles. We'll put that sucker on. I got quite a collection here. Yep, we'll get it worked out. We'll put this belt on, give it a shot. All right, got her all hooked up, got the belt on. Let's see what we got here. I got the wiggles, I love it. It's good, it's nice and straight. Got no leaky leaks. No leaky leaks down there. No leaky leaks right here. That's topped off. Let's give it the, the one finger. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That is way better. Beautiful. Outstanding. Outstanding. Whew. This thing has been one giant pain in the asteroids right here. Whew. We got her. We got her. We got her. All that junk. <laughs> yep. So I bought that off of Amazon. It's with the key and a nut over here. It came with that single with that single pulley that didn't fit. It made my made this pulley way over here and I needed it on this one. So I went and I bought the first double here and slapped her on and it did the wiggles. I was able to find this guy. He said it was made for a Buick and it's used and somebody had it and they put it online, thank goodness. And I just happened to find it and it was expensive, uh, double the price there. So, but it works perfect. Has a keyhole, fit right on, bolted right on. Um, the hoses were a pain in the butt too because I went to the hose guy down the street. He goes, nope, don't touch that kind of stuff. You need me part number or else I can't touch it. Oh, well, great. I go, where do I go? He referred me to a second guy. Went to the second guy. That guy did the same thing. He said, hey, drive 20 miles to the next one. He'll do it for you. That guy, he was just like, well, who are you? What do you want? You know, go away. Basically, I was bugging him. The fourth guy finally, it took me all day, fourth guy finally got over there and he, he, he knocked that, this hose out, 
real real easy 10 15 minutes i was out of his shop i was so happy and it was like half of his expenses as the other guys were quoting me so that was like 50 bucks he did that 50 bucks right there and then and that includes this line here i got a new line and then i got uh I already had that, but a new fitting and a two hose clamps that are not made in China. Some good ones there, the nice hose clamps. And we popped that on and we did the second one. I had to do the finagling here, redo, you know, um, re re reconnect there to make these guys fit. But uh, that was probably the fun part of this whole thing because man, this has been a big pain in the butt. I uh, spent about a good six days doing this, just mostly running around trying to figure out what part I need, how to do things. I got this piece, it was in my junk pile, came with one of my motors, it was just laying there. Uh, good thing I didn't throw it out. I painted it and I put it away in my garage and sat there for a few years and then I pulled it out for old Slumdog because I, after I put the lockers in, uh, you definitely need some strong hands. <laughs> But uh, I guess a Chevy one might work, but I'm not too sure because, you know, I've never done it before. But this definitely goes to this Buick Motors. I uh, went to a different motor, and uh, good thing I didn't throw it out. Uh, belts right there. I, you, you just seen all the belts that I had on the floor a little while ago. Um, yeah, I got different sizes, whatever. Just I just measured it and made sure I got the right one. Uh, local part houses, they have a bunch of them. You can probably find them. They're pretty much easy to find anywhere. Um, but yeah, let me go online. I'll give you a part number on this guy, on the power steering pump, and, uh, and if I can find a part number on this one. I don't think there is one, but I'll show you what I got. So if you guys end up trying to do this, uh, you'll be a lot more a lot more ahead of the ball game than I was because I was just coming from scratch, and I've been throwing money at it for like a good two weeks now. It took me... About six days to complete this just running around taking this thing on and off <laughs> but hey that's why we like these things i guess huh it's pretty pretty cool now that we've now that we're winners still got to take it for a test drive and i definitely got to take it off road and then the, the real test is colorado let me go get you guys these part numbers so this is a pump i bought 18 performance Power steering pump, Siganol P series. That's the one that I got. You can see where. Hey, stay there. You can see the nut and the keyway there. And this comes with the with that single um, single belt drive that doesn't work for our Buick motors. 64 Buick Oldsmobile. V6 V8 power steering pump pulley 5 8 bore and it came with a keyway. I don't think there's any part number on there. Let's see, 538 bolt on pulley. One and a half inches tall Buick. I don't see a um, a part number or anything like that. Just giving descriptions here. 0.625, of an inch inside bore, which fit on that power steering pump. 64 built Goldsmobile, 225 V6, or a V8, five inch bore. So now I know how to do it. So it'll probably take me a couple of hours, five, six days to do this. I, uh, Signal pump, uh, it's standard, anything from, you know, uh, Chevy or anything like that. Buicks um, has the same setup back here. A hydraulic line and a return line. I had, uh, now I know where to get these lines made, so that's not a big deal. So that's not an issue anymore. It took me a whole day to figure that one out. I went to like four different guys, finally the last guy hooked it up. Um, the bracket here is Buick, but, um, I don't know, maybe you, you could use Chevy. I'm not sure. See, a lot of the people are saying that you could do these bolt patterns are all the same. So, um, you guys probably have to try that out. Uh, for sure, you need a Buick 
pulley here to bring back the offset that way to line up with your pulley on the engine so that's something that we learned i should have figured it out you know after the fact i'm looking back on geez you know it's this it's sitting right there but you know you go to parts houses these guys say all these will fit but of course they don't amazon ebay all say it's gonna fit but it didn't fit so make sure you get a buoy pulley these pulleys you know now i know what i'm looking for i know where they're at now speedway has them brand new ship right to your door uh, i'm going to google search and put up the buick um pulleys and they're everywhere ebay has like one one popped up a little while ago amazon they'll, they'll send you the ship birds over there but um yeah now that i know what i'm looking for um we can find them now it's trial and error that's how we learn so hope you liked the video we'll catch you on the next one bye guys